Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to what I guess is technically the very start of a brand new Orlando, Florida vlog series. I'm so excited and cannot wait to share this trip with you guys. If you're new to the channel, then my name is Charlotte and this channel is all about travel specifically to Florida and the Disney parks. There's a bit of lifestyle thrown in there and a lot of family fun as well but one thing you'll notice that's a bit different about this trip is that i'm traveling solo on this occasion so just a bit of background information to give you guys a bit of insight to what's going to be going down on this trip so the main purpose of this trip is actually for universal studios halloween horror nights which i am a huge huge fan of i've been attending the event for nearly 10 years now minus the times where we weren't allowed into america which was unfortunately the 30th anniversary which i'm still heartbroken about but we move, we move on. This year's no different. I'm heading out there again. Usually I would be traveling with my daughter, Paisley. She's seven, but obviously being a Halloween Horror Nights trip, this one isn't appropriate for her. So she's staying at home with her dad and obviously she has school to go to as well. So because she's not with me, this is gonna be a super quick, snappy trip. And I actually only have four full days in Florida, which I think is the shortest I've ever been for, but we're gonna make it work and anything longer than that I think I'd just be missing her far too much so I'm gonna have four days of fun we've got three nights of horror nights and this video is gonna show you what I'm taking with me on that very very small trip so yeah welcome to a pack with me for Florida vlog if you've been around for a while and you're a regular viewer of the channel you'll know that I don't pack lightly so it may be quite surprising that I am actually hand luggage only on this trip it saved me a lot of money. I used Avios to buy most of this flight and wanted to keep the costs as low as possible. So hand luggage it is. And let me tell you the stress this has caused me over the last few weeks. Because guys, I just don't pack lightly. It's not in my nature. I like my outfits. I like spares. I like to have like twice of everything just in case, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I just like to be organized and prepared. But this time we're going right down to the actual essentials. So. This is probably going to be the quickest pack with me for Florida vlog you've ever seen because I've got like five things to put in the hand luggage and I'm not going to lie, I'm very proud of myself. This right here is everything. Everything I'm taking in my hand luggage case apart from my backpack which I'm also taking. So I'll show you what goes in the backpack as well afterwards. But for the mini suitcase we firstly have all of my clothes and outfits. Um, I'm not gonna get them all out because they are all packed nicely in the packing cube with my mini ears, which are gorgeous by the way from Magic Maker Ears. But if you jump back a vlog or two, there's a um, outfit planning vlog. So if you wanted to see the outfits that are happening, then go ahead and check that one out. But yeah, all the clothes are actually in here. And that is, I think five day outfits and five night outfits and a couple of spares as well, just in case. I've then got my makeup bag, of course, that's coming with me. I've got my face wipes and a tanning mitt as well. I've got my hair straighteners and my tripod for um, photos and things like that. As I'm on my own, I may need it um, for taking selfies kind of thing. I've then got a bag here and this bag is the one I'm gonna use most days in the parks. And inside of it, it's got a lot of accessories. So can't really remember what's in here as I have just been piling it all in over the last week or so. Apparently a lot of socks. We've got magic bands, we've got USBs, we've got headbands, and my paperwork is in this one as well. So basically just important odds and sods, plus socks. These two pouches have got like underwear, more socks, bras, bralettes, that kind of thing. So they're all hidden away nicely. And then I've got two pairs of jammies as well. I've got shoes i'm taking white converse i'm flying in my black converse so um i did think about flying in sandals but then i thought actually it's quite cold here planes are quite cold if i just put one pair of converse in the case these are going to take up a lot less space than the black converse i've then got a pouch full of accessories now i don't know if they're all going to stay in the accessories pack so I've got my devil's ears for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, there's a red pair and a black pair. I've got fishnet tights. I've got choker necklaces. I've got gloves. That's all my spooky accessories are in that one. And then in the last pack here, I've actually got my liquids, which I'll go through with you guys in a minute separately because that's been a journey on itself. <laughs> I wake up, I 
at your place Wake up at mine Same question always I'm getting tired We could have breakfast Got in your freckles Close to the west coast How about that? Why don't we just get a place together? Mornings in our own bed So much better Balconies and bathtubs What you want? Why don't we just get that was probably the most quick little montage of shove everything in a case that you guys have ever seen and literally up to <laughs> like two minutes and for me i'm used to packing like giant giant suitcases so yeah that was quite unusual and what i will say as well is traveling on my own instead of traveling with my child and partner i'm gonna say packing wise is a lot lot easier i've only got my own stuff to be responsible for i know what i use day in day out and if i forget it it's my own fault so a lot of pressure's off um that was very easy i have got a packing list to go through at the end just to make sure i've got everything but yeah that's the main suitcase i've taken most of the liquids out of there so there's no liquids in there currently aside from the makeup in my makeup bag which i'm going to get out in the morning anyway so it'll just be foundation and um concealer that needs to come out of there as well and the liquids that I've got toiletry wise I'm putting in these little bags so I actually got these from Amazon they were very inexpensive and they come in a pack of about 10 I think it's like three pounds but they're the exact right size for security and I won't have to take my stuff out of this bag and then put it in the security specific bag so hopefully I can get everything in one of these pop it in the little box and be away so I'll show you exactly what I'm putting in my little bag first of all I've got my Saint-Tropez self-tan express um I don't tan naturally mainly because I douse myself in a high factor sun cream secondly because I cover up from the sun I don't like it so I seek shade wear hats and don't go out in peak hours so I do still like to have a little bit of colour though, so I pop on a little bit of express tan, develops in an hour. Looks like you're having a lovely sunny holiday without the sun damage, so love that. Another weather related product is this Lee Stafford anti-humidity spray, which is supposed to protect your hair from going all Monica Geller in Barbados. So first time I'm using it, it's September, so it's humid. We'll give it a go and we'll see if this one works. On the same note, I've obviously got a sun cream. I will probably pick another one up out there because this tiny one isn't gonna get me far. It's only 50 mil, um, but at least it's gonna get me going for the first like day or so. I've just got a little light moisturizer for my face while I'm out there. And I'm gonna grab a body lotion at the airport as well because my body lotions will not fit in here. As I said, I'm down to the absolute essentials that I need to take, so. Yeah, I can grab body lotion there. I'm also going to grab dry shampoo at the airport because I'm only there a few days and obviously I'll be washing my hair every day because it's hot. But once I've washed my hair, I do just like to spritz a little bit of dry shampoo on the top just to keep it bright, you know, and give it a bit of bounce. I always think it helps with that. So I do like to have a little mini dry shampoo, which I'll pop in here when I get to the airport as well also we've got jojum mini hairspray toothpaste mascara which i do think constitutes as a liquid it must do that's going in lip gloss product another lip gloss and my blistex lip moisturizer as well to stop them getting dry in the sun sorry about that guys somebody just knocked at a door gave me a fright i was not expecting anyone but it was a delivery guy bringing me an excited package so yeah last of all um hand gel of course we're going through airports we're on a plane I'm going to be using that bad boy a lot. I also forgot to mention that I have decanted some macadamia oil into these little pots and I've just taped around them because I was looking at them thinking, do I trust you? Are you going to leak it everywhere? So yeah, I've just put sellotape around them with my hair oils in and I'm going to pop them in the bag as well. These bags are like a Mary Poppins bag because that has given so much more space than I initially thought it would we've got everything in there and space for my foundation and stuff in the morning so i'm really happy about that i'm actually so proud of myself for like condensing all of this because usually the toiletry bag would be about five times this size so these are the items that i'm gonna put in the main bulk of my backpack so we start off with a book for plain entertainment i've then got my sunglasses yep they're definitely in there which is always helpful 
I've got a little pouch which has got like lipsticks and powders and a blusher brush and things like that inside of it that I may need to use on travel day. This one is my medical kit. I'm like a walking pharmacy. I've got everything. Paracetamol, indigestion, Imodium, travel bands, COVID masks, everything you could possibly need is in there. So I'm fully stocked at the pharmacy. I've got an umbrella because I think it may be a rainy few days in Orlando. On that note, I've also got a poncho. I've got wipes uh, for hands and for wiping down my area on the plane because I'm an absolute germaphobe and I do not want any plane germs around me. I've got my vitamins, which can probably go in one of these pouches. I've got chewing gum, a hairbrush, and then my electricals as well for vlogging. And guys, I do apologize if this is the most amateur vlogging setup you've ever seen, but this is all the equipment I need. So first of all, I've got my um, charger for my batteries for the Canon battery pack. I've got a brand new SD card just in case anything goes wrong with the various SD cards I've got in here. These are all cleared and unused and this little pouch is for any that I use and then I'll put them in there safely. I've got my fuel rods for park days. I've charged all of those up so they're ready and rearing. A pen, just because. Nice Disney Cruise Line pen. Two battery packs, some headphones and a US adapter. And then this little pouch I will put in my day-to-day -day backpack and I'll put in there a spare memory card and a spare battery and probably a fuel rod for while I'm at the park. That all fits in the front of the backpack quite gorgeously actually. And then the liquids will go in there as so as well. And then the camera will just lay on top as well, at least until I'm through security. And then I may have a bit of a jiggle up. I've got some bags and a hair rain mac and also hopefully a USB in here somewhere as well and some hair bands I think yeah I've got hair bands as well because they're always handy to have on a travel day and then just in the back section of my backpack I've got my Apple Mac and charger I've got my paperwork here so I printed off my Esther all my flight details hotel details everything like that I've got printed and I've also got digitally in a file saved on my phone so just for backup there. There is one more bag. I'm technically only allowed the actual carry case and the backpack, but this little bag will fit in the backpack as I go through. And this is just like my essentials. So in here will be my phone, passport, tomorrow's sunglasses, my AirPods, some paracetamol, and stuff that I may just need urgently. This is actually where I think I put the USB rather than in the big backpack. Yeah, so it's quite easily accessible so I can charge my phone as and when needed. Yeah, I actually think that's everything. I hope I'm not forgetting anything major. That's me, ready and rearing. It's usually three large cases, three small cases, a backpack, a handbag, a carry-on child's bag, all kinds of stuff. So that's minimal and compact and I'm really pleased with it. I've also got tomorrow's travel day outfit up and ready to rumble. So we're nice and organized there. And here's my actual packing list. So I'm gonna sit and go through now what I can tick off, what I might have forgotten and just be double, double sure that I have got everything. And I probably will end up unpacking all of that and going through it all like three more times just to be sure because I don't know why, because there are shops in America, there are shops at the airport, but I always am so terrified of forgetting anything that I go through it with like a fine tooth comb and I have to be sure I've got everything I need. But I think I have, touch wood, I think I've done a good job. I've also got a list on my phone of things I need tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned earlier um, that I'm gonna buy a few bits at the airport, like dry shampoo, spray Joe drinks, I like to have that as well as roll on, shaving gel, just like a mini one. And then things I need to put in my bag in the morning, like my watch charger, my full phone charger, and then checks I need to do, like check I've got my money, check I've got my cards, check I've got my passport. There's a lot of checks going on, but yeah, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it on hand luggage and everything's gonna go well. I'm very nervous for travel day, really nervous. I'm afraid of flying and I'm afraid of like going places alone, I'm claustrophobic and I'm gonna be surrounded by strangers on a plane. Hopefully I'll get a nice friendly person next to me who wants to have a little bit of a chat and help pass the time. But yeah, that's me all packed for Florida and the next vlog you see is actually going to be the Florida travel day so stay tuned be sure to subscribe if you're not already give this video a big thumbs up and take care everybody see you real soon